everyone, welcome to the Punters preview for round 16 of the NRL. And we're going to do a really quick recap or, or preview, sorry, of State of Origin game two, which is obviously next Wednesday, uh, the 20, 21st of June. So look, before I get into the NRL games and the Origin teams, it's so much chaos to unpack. Um, look, obviously the guys that have been on here for a little while now know that I've been running this company wiki full time for three years. Uh, we've done we've put in a lot of hard yards um, and it has all been for free. Um, I didn't want to make this paid for people and, and that's why I held off so long. Um, but obviously, as you guys are seeing, like we've had two of the biggest bookies in Australia change their try score markets. And I think it's because of a lot of the success that we've had. So to make things really simple, um, I'm going to talk through Wiki Premium, which we've just launched today. The point of this isn't to pitch every single person on Wiki Premium because to be really honest, like they are a little bit pricey and, and not everyone, it's not going to be the right fit for everyone. Um, if you're mainly into punting on sport for fun, for banter, um, you know, to put on some multis before a game and stuff, Wiki Premium probably isn't the right thing. Um, everything on our site, our Discord, our data tool, and our content will still be for free. Um, the point of Wiki Premium is to basically get the guys who are paying for our stuff going forward access to stuff earlier give them a lot more like advanced data stuff to play around with for NRL try scores. And if they want to punt on other stuff as well, we can start giving them data access for that as well. Um, and also more importantly for our content, like if I'm putting out, it's as you guys can imagine, if you're, if I'm going to be online an hour before every single game, giving you guys late mail and, and sort of try score picks. And, you know, these two guys are injured for or like after origin and you should get on this team with this line and, and, all that kind of stuff. It's a lot of manual work. It's a lot of hours. It's saying no to things. So I can be on my computer doing this stuff, um, which means that, you know, I felt comfortable that this was a good time to start um, a premium paid option. But as I said, my personal dream um, is to grow this brand out for rugby league, for cricket, for fantasy, for super coach, for punting, in the next sort of six, 12, 18 months that everyone in Australia, if you're into punting and if you're in a fantasy, you'll check out Wiki and our stuff. And, as I said, most of our stuff will be free, but the I guess the more advanced stuff or the stuff that takes a lot of my time and is super valuable for you guys, I'm hoping it should be so valuable that the, the sort of pricing that we put out there isn't really a problem because you're finding pretty clear value in what we're providing you. But um, look, enough of that. Um, you'll be able to check this out. So if you Google Wiki link free, you'll see the link right here. You can check out a Discord, which is obviously free, as I mentioned to you. We've gone from 300 to almost 3,000 people in just over three months which has been bloody incredible. Wiki Premium, we can check that stuff out. I'll talk you through that in a second. Our website's right here. Uh, what I'm doing here, the podcast, that'll be here. Not everyone uses Discord, so we've made a Facebook group. We've got the um, odds comparison tool and a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, if you are new to our stuff, by the way, I would definitely recommend that you check these two things out. So how to get the best out of our data tools and our content. It's a little five, 10 minute video. Um, <laughs> I think this is just me bragging about round, what was it, 14, two weeks ago, which was by far the best round that we've ever had at Wiki, which is incredible. So I'll talk you through how community helps out to find tips and, and not just me. But um, anyways, guys, all this stuff's pretty self-explanatory. Um, on social media, as always, I'd really appreciate if you could follow our stuff, share it across to your mates. Uh, but let's get straight into it for, for round 16. I'll actually just open up the the uh, origin teams as well. Where are we? Draw. Oh. State of Origin, Game 2, and hopefully the teams are right there. And they're not. That's excellent. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll, I'll find out later. Um, look, so just very quickly on Origin, um, on Wiki Premium, sorry. So we've got two types of memberships. Um, they're based off uh, two of the best NRL try scorers, uh, or middle forward try scorers at the moment. Josh Papali, he scores a try roughly every, uh, every five games in the NRL. And it's funny, like he hadn't scored all season and then he scored last week and it was so close to being the last try. I would be gutted if he scored the last try, but then Johnson took an intercept um, and scored one like a minute ago. So anyway, Josh Papali, the best NRL middle forward try scorer. We've named our best um, paid premium option after him. So yeah, this will be 50 bucks a fortnight, 100 bucks a month. As I said, it's not for everyone. If you're punting socially and stuff, <laughs> this isn't for you. Who it is for though? Um, actually, you know what? I'll go through the link use first. So, 
Spencer Lenu, one of my favorites for try scorers in Magic Round. He scored the first try in the second half at $101 to one on TAB. Obviously, that was, what, five weeks ago now? It was bloody amazing. That was our second best round of the year. Um, so this is, a, I guess, more affordable uh, paid option. The point of this is, firstly, you get access to the private Discord channel that only all the paid users, so both of these uh, types of users, get access to. So I'm aiming to build a little paid com like community uh, that's exclusive to just our paid members so we can talk about value plays and you know where good prices are popping up, all that kind of stuff. The other thing that you'll get is um, free users will still have access to our odds comparison tool, um, but this um, bait lend use the 20 bucks a fortnight option, you'll get access to the full OCT. So you'll have 10 bookies, four markets, exactly what you guys have been using for the last few weeks. We're going to add markets onto that eventually, but we'll definitely be adding one or two bookies in the short term, but you'll get access to the whole thing. Whereas free users will only get the two main markets, FTS and ATS, um, and you'll only get probably the five main bookies. But um, yeah, the baby lady users will get access to everything there with the odds comparison tool. Um, and you'll get some of the data analysis that I put out every week uh, for our for our premium users. So that's the main point. Um, if you're into value punting, you know the value of getting the odds comparison tool on a Tuesday evening. And that's exactly what these guys are paying for it will get, as long as the community, as well as the community, sorry, who are going to be discussing these value picks and how to make or how to make money off funding, mostly in the NRL. But obviously we're going to roll out like a cheaper version of this for the BBL summer uh, in the summer as well, which will be awesome. The Josh Puppets, 50 bucks a fortnight, 100 bucks a month. I know it's pricey, but I've made it this way on purpose. I think as we've blown up in the last three months, there's probably a lot of people on our Discord that are using our stuff and, and not really engaging in the chat. And I honestly just wanted to test out um, how many people are actually using our stuff and, and who would be keen to get involved um, on the paid option. So look, I know it's a lot of money, 100 bucks a month, and I'm going to make sure that not only do we put out, you know, our data tools, like, you know, obviously OCT, you get full access to that um, super early on a Tuesday evening. Uh, not only do we do that, not only do we give you early access to the Punters preview on the podcast Tuesday night, uh, today's been a bit mental, obviously rolling out the Wiki Premium um, part of our business, but uh, usually I'll be able to get this out to the Tuesday evening, um, which would be awesome. Um, we'll also have a private Discord. So what you guys have been used to with the last few months or last few weeks with the Wiki Announcements channel, that'll be now exclusive to the Josh Puppers, the 50 bucks fortnight. And look, obviously, gamble responsibly. Um, and I hope if you're listening to this, you're already doing that. But if you are comfortable and, and if you do punt quite a bit, especially if you are looking for value, this stuff can pay itself off real quick. Um, you saw that. I don't know if I forgot if I included that in the bet tracker, but Caught out mainly via the Dolphins. I think the line was around six, just under and just over, depending on which book you went to. And they absolutely smacked the Dolphins with with the full strength turbo. So anyways, there's a bunch of stuff, especially around. I think if you're going to pay for something like this, Origin time is the best because you got surprise Origin selections. you got people that aren't backing up. If people do back up, that means people might go from like, you know, a bench forward might end up starting and that kind of stuff, as you guys know, is where I'm really good at obviously finding value and hopefully helping you guys out. Um, this is a little bit boring, so I don't want to type too much about it, but if you are into your data and, and you, if you do like data to sort of make decisions based off um, to either for try scorers or for just punting generally, there's a lot. We actually have two data guys that work with us that have been preparing for this week <laughs> for the last sort of three or four weeks. So we've got a lot of data stuff around try scorers and punting generally that we're going to start rolling out to you guys in the next couple of days. And then depending on how our community grows in the next week or two, if we have time, or if it's not, if you're not keeping us too busy, we'll actually ask you guys what you want to see with data. Um, and, and obviously there's a, a whole bunch of stuff that we can do. This stuff only makes sense when you see it in front of you. So I won't talk too much about it, but that's something where I'm not bragging about it too much. or getting too excited, but you'll see how cool it is once I roll it out. It'll be stuff like, um, you know, what position score against which teams, how, where, where teams can see tries, I know um, NRL Super Coach Doug Guns does that. He does it manually for which side of the field. We don't have that, but we've got a lot of positional stuff, a lot of historical player venue data. Anyways, go into that later. Don't want to get too boring. Uh, but anyways, check this out. Uh, it's all over our website now. We do want to pay for it. But as I said, the long-term vision is to grow out the free community, um, keep as many things as possible free for you guys. But I also want to really drive value to the guys who are paying for the stuff. Um, and as I said, like we've, 
I've run Wiki for three years uh, and kept everything free. So I think you know, no one really was sort of kicking up a fuss about us starting to charge for some of our stuff. You've seen pretty clear value um, and I'm really excited to yeah take on the bookies with you guys over the next few months. Um, let's get straight into it, guys. OCT, OCT, sorry. I'm going to go game by game real quick. Uh, not much value in the anytime try scorers in the Cowboys Panthers game. Uh, looking at anytime try scorer, nope, not much at all. Where there is a bit of value, Tommy Deed is uh, 29s on 365, FTS, first try scorer, and probably LTS as well. Really like that as a play. Way better than his career strike rate, way better than other bookies. Um, and sort of a little bit better than what our model would suggest as well. Um, the other one that I think could be interesting, um, I thought that popped up earlier. Nope, it's disappeared. All good. Um, first try scorer, second half of this game. Uh, ah, Tanoa Brown at 81s on Neds, I think he's okay. Uh, and so is Griffin Neen at 67s. I love that. If you look at Neen, <laughs> I think he's probably done this like three times in 53 games or, or, or two times in 35, whatever it is. But he's got a ridiculous strike rate, a first try score in the second half, Griffin Neem. Um, and he's priced at 67s on tab. Don't think that's going to last for long. So check that out for sure. Uh, that's on tab by the 67, first try score, second half, Griffin Neem. Next game, going into uh, Knights, Roosters, Tyson Gamble's $34 on Neds and Ladbrokes for first try scorer. Uh, aside from that, no one that great for the market over there. Um, nope, I'm happy to stay away here. Uh, anytime try scorer, Gagai at 360, anytime on Neds is okay. Uh, and first try scorer, second half, where are we? Uh, da, 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 Sakbidi, 61 is okay. Uh, Jacob, that is, sorry, on points bet. Uh, nope, not that much value, to be honest. Uh, Lockie Fitzgibbon, nah, don't love that, to be honest. 26s, it's okay at best. I'll, uh, I'll move on to the next game. So, Parramatta Manly, it's really funny. Jacob Arthur's moved from Parramatta, gone to Manly. He's now half back, taking cherry open space. Uh, spot, sorry. <laughs> Mitch Moses is playing Origin. So, Paris stuffed in the halves this week. But um, our model absolutely loves Sean Russell. And to be honest, I tipped him about three weeks ago. He's got the first track, decent price, and he got up. So I'm going to have to back this plane. Uh, Sean Russell, $12, first track score, top sport. Um, sorry for that, not too much. Uh, Olokowatu, $26 on tab. That is ridiculous. That is ridiculously good. Uh, so I hope that sticks around for the guys to get on. Um, and TAB, model value... Where are we? Ah, Olukua two four dollars on tab anytime try scorer. Just incredible odds. It's actually really weird. Like the guys on the fantasy forum that I'm on pointed out that when DC or Turbo or maybe both of them don't play, his stats are actually better. It's weird because you think Cherry Evans would put him more over more often, but so Olukua two's try scoring stats say that he scores a try once every three games. So his odds should be about three if you think this is close to a 50 50 game and just looking back at his career, right? And you're getting four dollars on tab. I really like that play. Um, the other one that I thought was all right was uh nope, I must have missed it. Sorry. Uh first try score. Did we already look here. Yeah, we did. Uh first try score is second half, Eels and Manly. Um where are we? Nope, nothing much over here. Um, if I look at this though, that's right. There was Paseca and Sipley. Well, I think both are sort of decent odds around 67s. The first try score. I know and um LOI as well. To be honest, they're all 67 dollars and I like all of them. So I think I might have to do a little bit more analysis. Otherwise, I'd be tipping the whole uh manly starting pack. And uh, I do miss the days of 81s and 101s for these guys, but we'll have to be a little bit more careful in our analysis now. Um, but yeah, all the quads at four dollars in time and 26 FTS on tab is a clear standout. Uh Tigers be the storm. Uh, no, don't love that for first try scorer markets. Um, for best odds, let's have a look. Ooh, what could be good is Jake Simkin, the hooker. $51 on 365 and Neds for first try scorer. That's decent. And Sean Bloor playing on the edge at $41 on 365 and Neds could be reasonable as well. Um, anytime try scorer for Tiger Storm, we go... 
Jerome Hughes on tab, incredible odds, four dollars. Again, he's exactly like Olivato. If you went by his career, he's going to try with three-ish games, and you're getting four dollars on tab. Really good price, way better than his career strike rate, better than our model, um, and better than most bookies as well. Really like that one. Um, and start with Toa. Five dollars eighty on sports, but that's really interesting. He's like randomly better on oh, he's playing the halves. Interesting. Mm, that is interesting. I don't know what to make of that. Like a model, when players change positions, it can be a little bit tricky. Um, who is their number seven? Let's have a look. So there's number seven for the Tigers is Wakem. Ah, okay, 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 okay. I think that $5.80 is not as good as our model is making it out to be. It's just because Toa's changed position. A little bit confusing. Um, but yeah, definitely one to look out for, I think. Uh, last game, Sharks, Bulldogs, anytime try scorer. Olu Apu, just be careful. He's a rookie, which is why our model says it's really good value, but don't think that's quite right. Um, Mulatalo is, is okay. Uh, nope, I'll have a look away there. First try scorer for Sharks, Dogs. Finnecade 67s is okay. Uh, our model loves it. Be way better than other bookies, but 67s is okay at best. Um, for Finnecade, Harrison Edwards at 81s, FTS. I like that, actually. I'll, I'll have to have a look at that. Uh, he scored a try about three-ish weeks ago, Harrison Edwards. Um, unfortunately, not the first try, but I think that 81s is a pretty reasonable price for him. Uh, Corey Waddell, nope. Happy to look away there. Um, and Pangai. Ooh, Pangai, 67, FTS on 365. That price is still on, uh, around. Sorry, I really like that. Got dropped from State of Origin. He's going to be really fired up. I'm really keen to see how he goes. Um, and then last up, we'll get first try score a second half. Waddell at 81s if he's still around because there's a small chance he gets some time on the edge. I actually like that player on Benton Ladbrokes if that's still around. Um, and I think that's I think that's probably it. So look, um, oh, I really want to talk about Origin really quickly. I'm looking for set of origin teams and i have found them all right cool the raw where are we excellent okay sure so so many talking points um i'm gonna see if i've got the oct loaded up for origin but look basically <laughs> so nico hines is completely dropped mitch moses gets the halfback spot um junior bolo starts because Panga junior got dropped and uto Kamanu comes into the squad he's beast and you, you guys know i love him as a try scorer so I'll find a good price on him and put that out there as well. Um, so from that, uh, what have Queensland done? They've got Nanai in from Gilbert, not losing anything there. They have got, who else have they? Got? They've got Fotuweka in for someone. Ah, who's the other guy that's injured? I forgot now. But uh, <laughs> Fotuweka's in. Uh, oh, Jai Arrow, that's the one. Yeah, Fotuweka for Arrow. I don't think that's a huge loss either. Uh, the other one is Coates in for... Um, Oh, it's in for mind blank over here. Cobo, Cobo, the winger for the Broncos. So I don't think that's a huge loss either. Like I think Coates, yeah, he's a little bit more athletic, a little bit less powerful. That's okay. So Queensland, in all honesty, I don't see how they've lost anything. They've they've had some changes, but I don't think they lose very much, if anything at all. And now they're playing at home and they're not going to have the chaos of injuries all over the place. One man down at the end. Oh, some of that might happen. But um, yeah, personally, I'm very, very high on the Maroons. And I don't see how they don't win comfortably. Um, the Blues, they have it was Latrell in, which is huge. Crichton had a really good game, in all honesty, in game one. But, oh, Latrell is huge. Um, obviously, Moses in for Cleary, Cook in for Coruscant, um, Utsu Kamani in for Pangai Jr., and Robson in for Hines. So quite a few changes. So I think the Blues, like, the only thing that makes me think this game could be close is the fact that you're going away from the predictability of Cleary, Coruscant, Panther style of footy, and you, you've got unpredictability now with Moses. Uh, obviously, Cook and Ted, Teddy and Luai have played together for a little while, and that's fine. Um, but it's just going to be such a bloody good game. Like, I think it's one of those things where, you know, if this was like a long, like if this was an NRL game, I'd be thinking, it, surely, you know, surely Queensland wins. Like, everything is going for them. But it's origin and like you just don't know an origin. Um, I'm really keen to get some feedback from you guys. I put it out there on Instagram, Twitter, and stuff to get people's opinions. Really keen to see what people think. I just can't bloody wait till the game. 
Um, punting wise for Origin, I'll have a really quick look. These prices might have changed by the time that you see this, but uh, at first glance, let me look if anything stands out. So Hudson Young, if he actually plays like 60, 70 minutes, I'd love this $7 odds for him, ATS. It's because <laughs> he scored the try with three point something games, and you're getting over seven dollars for him to score a try. But I'm just scared of him getting to get enough to play half a game. So um that's one to look out for. Um let me look at first try markets because I was pretty happy with what we saw there. Um, Haas at 81s, I think is an incredible price. Paulo at 81s is decent as well. We'll take Kamano if you can find him at that sort of $67 mark per FDS second half. I would absolutely love that. Uh, if Murray starts, I'd be super keen on that $48. Um, and unfortunately, Frizzell, don't think he's $41 anymore on Neds, but we'll have to have to have a look. But that's probably it, guys. I'm not going to go too much deeper into this. As I said at the start, um, you know, it, it, it was a really tough decision for me to say, let's start the premium paid um, subscription service. But I also realized that it was actually costing me and the people on our group because literally <laughs> like the, the biggest bookies in Australia are changing their pricing for try scores. It's been such an easy way to make money for us for the last few, or for me personally, for the last few years. Uh, and for a lot of the guys on Discord for the last few months. Um, and when we realized that was happening, I was like, look, I want to devote my energy and make sure that, you know, the guys that are that are signing up and, and supporting us get the best bang for buck. Um, but also there's going to be a lot of people that just love chatting footy, love their multis and, and just want to have fun with their, their punting and, and talk sport. And I always want we could be sort of the home for that as well. So um, yeah, check us out. All our stuff is free all over here. Um, if you do want to pay and get involved on, on some of our paid stuff, Wiki Premium is right here. If you have any questions, come join our Discord and ask us. PM or email us. I'm more than happy to chat anytime. Good luck, gamble responsibly, and I will do a show before State of Origin. I cannot wait.